Trigger warning, you are about to hear a story and see some footage that is going to freak you out and it's going to take you down paranoid android world. I'm telling you, mate, I've heard some freaky deaky stories, things that make you paranoid, and this one, <laughs> this one takes the biscuit, all right? And as the story unfolds, it just gets worse and worse. There's this girl called Caitlin Sutherland. She lives in Scotland. She's 22 years old. She's a single mother, all right? And because obviously she's a single mother, she's seen their only right to put CCTV in a whole house, okay? As you would, right? You've got to protect yourself. You've got to look after yourself. Anyway, so a whole house is kitted out with CCTV, for, um, CCTV cameras. So the story goes, basically, she decides to take her baby and she goes around her friend's house, right? She's going around to her friend's house, cup of tea, maybe a bit of haggis or whatever, all right? And all of a sudden, her phone goes off, little alert. There's movement in her house, so CCTV um, app has just gone. Blah, blah, blah. So she goes to her phone and she's like, okay, look, what's going on? Like, you know, probably a little bit, oh God, what, what's happening? Like movement in my house, there's nobody there. It's just me and the baby at my friend's house, right? So she goes to her phone, right? She's like, what's going on? But obviously a little bit worried because there shouldn't be movement in her house. The alert says, in your bedroom. The movement is coming from in your bedroom. So she opens up the app, live streams it, okay? Only to her horror, sees a random bloke, a, ra a total random bloke, snug as a bug in a rug, getting into her bed and, fall and falls asleep. Not only that, but this dude has pissed himself. It, it, he's, he's just pissed himself all in his pants, okay? And decides to get in her bed, in her lovely bed. Now, the reason she's got CCTV on her bed is because she sleeps with her baby, all right? So obviously, maybe if she gets up, goes to the toilet, she can still see if the baby's moving around or whatever. But this dark guy, just casual as you like, tucks himself in her bed and sleeps there for three hours. So she's absolutely freaking out. She calls the police. The police, this is, this is where the, the story just goes even worse. Like, the police go around there and get this bloke out. But they don't even arrest this guy. The Scottish police just go, oh, it's all right. It's just, 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 look, he's, just leave him alone. He's pissed himself, all right? This poor bloke just wants a, a good night's sleep. In the day, I might add. I like, what, what do you need to do in this world today to get arrested? I'm sure, like, people, it's getting to the point now, people are just trying to test how much they can get away with. Let's, let's see if we can rampage into this shop, steal as much as we can, but don't, spe don't steal any more than $900, okay? Then we'll be fine. So the police decide not to arrest him, all right? Just let him off. Also, I, I don't mean to make it even worse, but you can see in the video footage, this guy is prepared, right? He's got into this, this, this woman is a carer, by the way. She's a carer, bless her, cotton socks, right? This bloke gets into a bed, he's pissed his pants, right? I, I don't mean to laugh, but he's pissed his pants and he's also gone in very prepared because he's holding some tissue paper in his right bloody hand, getting ready to get a jiggy with it in the... Like, what a weirdo bastard, right? What a weirdo. This, and then, mate, this gets even worse. It gets even worse. The next day, she gets a Facebook message from this man. The end comment is going to make you twist inside, I'm telling you. He says, thank you for letting me put my head down for three hours. Hope no harm was done. What is this guy on about? What, what is this guy on about? This is like, this is like a scene from bloody The Sixth Sense. The opening scene where him and his missus are in bed. And then that weirdo comes out from the toilet crying in his underpants. You were supposed to look after me. You were supposed to look after me. 
Anyway, like, it gets worse. It gets worse. Trust me. And then he ends his message by saying, hope to meet you one day. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You seem pretty damn hot. Clearly, you can control your bladder. Let's hook up. Fancy getting a cheeseburger somewhere? Share a Slurpee? Right? See the new Barbie movie? Like, what's going on here? And then, so, she's freaking out. And she phones, this is, this is crazy. She phones the police to, to warn them to warn the police, the, the, the five O, what is going on? She says, this guy has messaged me on Facebook. What do I do? They said, ah, just block him. Just block him. So guys, this poor girl, my heart goes out to her because, you know, joking aside, this girl doesn't want to go back to her house now. She, she, she wants to find another house. This is a single mum who's a carer, right? So look, be careful. When you go out, make sure that you lock all the doors, lock all the windows. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you know about that crazy story. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.